This model review is of the uh, 125th scale uh, Honda Civic SI Coupe and uh, this is from the Fast and Furious movie and it's by Ravel. It's a nice box art that shows the finished product uh, of the actual model. It can also be painted red if you wanted to paint it a different color. It also shows some of the details of the engine and there are different options for the uh, wheels. So let's have a look inside. So the uh, glass, uh, I don't usually remove the glass uh, in case it gets sprayed on accidentally, but the glass appears to be molded uh, in one piece for the um, main body, all the additional pieces all molded here. This is quite well made. Let's have a look. I do have some mesh in here, which that's a large sheet of mesh. Uh, it can be used for the air intakes and probably even several other models, so that's very useful. Here's the body. No real flashing. Some nice details here. The one thing that I don't like about this is they've gone and molded in the uh, windshield wipers. I usually prefer those to be separate, but at least they are well developed and can still be painted separately. Here's the inside with two back seats, some of the engine bay details. No flashing at all. The chassis which is a lot of detail, surface detail here underneath. These are the insides of the uh, doors. That's some very nice detail there. Seats, both front, oh this is the front seat, but the back and the front of that seat. With some nice details actually here on the side for the different levers. And here's the other one. And a lot of detail here. This is for the suspension. Rear frame. Wow. Radiator. Inside of the engine bay. Dashboard. A lot of detail here. No flashing. This is a very a well molded model. And bumpers. Looks like there's a uh, two different options, a standard one and then the um, lowered one. And the engine parts, disc brakes, exhaust over here, all with a fair amount of detail. Here's the other option for the front bumper right over here and the hood which has actually got some nice details it looks like it's got some round uh, pivots here so that you could make it to open and we have some chrome parts and these are actually fairly well made I usually don't like chrome parts and I always strip the chrome off I may do that for some of the parts here those are fairly well made. And we have a second and a third option uh, for wheels. These can also be used as backups if you want to put them on other cars in 125th scale. Headlight buckets, some additional en en engine parts here, the headers. I'll probably strip those down. Now these are the rubber wheels, nice and soft, some good details here on the treads and then screws to I guess, keep them in place so that they can turn. Here are the instructions, standard Revell fashion, list of all the colors needed, 
And then all the parts, and your names and numbers, how to build the engine block. And again, always telling you the colors to paint them. You could do the uh, stock version or the custom headers down here. Building the uh, interior. The engine bay. Placing the radiator, starting to build the uh, suspension, exhaust and the chassis. Much of this may be painted before you start to build it. This is the rear suspension, building the console as part of the interior, seats. Interior door panels, headlights, the uh, bumpers, and all the different wheel options, disc brakes, and then as we as we thought, uh, you have looks like there's a metal axle pin that does not uh, be is not glued, so that can be then screwed in. Some painting instructions, and this uh, bottom here is for the uh, Fast and Furious version. It also has all the details down the bottom. Well, let's have a look at the decals. These are very well made, actually. This is for the front hood. Decals for the bottom, along the runners. And then for the pedals. Now that is a fairly detailed model actually. And um, that should be a good one to build with lots of different options.